Carnival. We're here to dance with you every move I make. Even you parents, come on, everybody on their feet, let's have some fun. Come on guys, everyone up and freeze on with us. Woo! We're going on. Get that energy up. You can do it, you can try.
everyone. I hope you're all right. Have you got a snack and a Bible? We've got our Bible ready to go here. Oh, and I've got a snack too. Let me go get mine. Ooh, a snack. Lovely. Um, I'm a bit peckish, really. Here what it have is. we got? Oh, that's really nice. Thanks, Sherlock. I'm not sure you're going to persuade me to become a vegan, though. We've already had this discussion. Anyway, the Bible reading today comes from Mark chapter 5, verse 21 to 42. I'm reading from the Lion Storyteller Bible. Jesus, help me! Jesus, my daughter is dying! Jairus shouted as loud as he could, and the crowd parted to let him through. She's only twelve, he explained. And she's so ill, but I know I can count on you to make her well. Please. Jesus nodded. Show me the way, he said. But the minute they started wading through the crowd, Jesus stopped. Somebody touched me, he whispered. Jesus, one of his old friends whispered back. There are hundreds of people here. I'm sure lots of them touched you. No said Jesus, raising his voice now. Somebody was sick, very sick. Then they touched me, and God made them well. I felt it. I felt the power rush out of me. Now, who was it? It was me, said a woman close by. I've been sick for so long. I spent so much money on doctors, but when I touched your robe, I was healed. Jesus turned to the woman and smiled. He was so happy for her. You trusted me, he said. That's good. So, God has made you well. Jesus, said Jairus. Jesus, I don't mean to interrupt, but before Jesus, Jairus could say another word, one of his servants called across the crowd. Master, master, I have the most awful news. Jarius knew it, even before the servant spoke. Your daughter is dead. Jesus turned from the happy woman to the sad father. It will be all right, he said. Trust me. Then they hurried off to Jairus' house. When they arrived, there was another crowd wailing and weeping in front of the house. The sad news had spread fast. Listen, everybody, said Jesus. There's no need to cry. The girl is not dead. She's only sleeping. Sad tears gave way to angry laughter. Don't be ridiculous, someone shouted. We've seen her. She's dead. Jesus ignored them all. He asked the girl's mother and father, um, and three of his friends, Peter, James and John, to come with him. Together, they walked straight to where the girl was lying. She certainly looked dead, her eyes were closed, her, um, her, her face was pale, her skin was cold. But that didn't stop Jesus. He took his, her cold hand and put it in his. Um, and called, little girl, little girl, it's time to get up. Her skin grew warm, her face flushed pink, her eyes flickered and flew open. She was alive. And the first thing she said was, I'm hungry. Then we'd better get you something to eat, said Jesus. And it was the best meal the family had ever had. Amen. <laughs> no, thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, that was a really amazing story, wasn't it? What does it tell us about God and being sad? Because they were definitely very sad people. And Jesus knew they were sad. But Jairus' dad, he did go and ask Jesus for help. So I think we could learn from the story that if we ask Jesus for help, he will help us. 
I wonder if Jackie, the new curate, has ever felt sad. Hmm. Good question. I'll go and ask her. Hi everybody, I have found Jackie and I'm all ready to ask her that question. So the question I think was, what is your favourite Disney character? Hmm, my favourite Disney character has to be Moana. Oh, feisty. Feisty. But actually, was that the, was that the right question that I asked? Or maybe it was chocolate or cheese? Cheese. I think cheese. Oh, I think some people might have answered chocolate to that. <laughs> well, actually, no. Really, the question was whether you've ever felt sad and if there is a verse in the Bible that has helped you in those times when you felt sad. Yes, yes, I have felt sad. I think everybody feels sad sometimes, don't they? So mm. there's definitely times when I've felt sad. And one of the verses in the Bible that helps me when I'm feeling sad is this one. And it's in Matthew and it says, you, this is Jesus speaking. And Jesus says, you can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. Jesus was saying that when his friends were feeling really sad, he was going away to go to be with the Father in heaven. And he'd told them there was going to be this big job for them to do, sharing God's love with everybody. And I think they were feeling a bit sad. And Jesus said to them, I will be with you always. And even when we can't see Jesus here with us, we know that he's always here with us. So when I'm feeling sad, I remember that Jesus is with me. I'm not on my own. And that really helps me. Can you read the, the verse again? Yep. It says, you can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. That would be such a fantastic verse to learn off by heart so that whenever we're in a difficult time, we've got that verse to remember. So I've asked somebody if they will help us all to learn it. So I'm now going to hand over to Hannah. Hello, St. Nick's kids. It's Hannah all the way down from Southampton. Yeah, I've uh, moved back to uh, uni now, but it's all good because God is with me wherever I go, so I'm all good. I hope you guys are good too. And this week, I have been asked to give you your memory verse, and it's a really fun one. And because I don't have my buddy, Caitlin, like I normally do, we're going to do a bit of a, a dancey kind of one, or with clapping, really. And um, this week's memory verse is... Matthew 28 20 and I'll do it in two sections the first bit and the second bit and you've got to go so here's the start you can be sure clap 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 that'll be good so you can be sure clap 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 that I will be with you always clap 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 let's try that again that I will be with you always clap 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 so let's try those two together I think that'll be good and then we can do that again Let's go again. One, two, three, four. You can be sure. Clap, clap. That I will be with you always. Clap, clap, clap. Nice. I think again, this. Should we do it again? Okay, you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. You can be sure that I will be with you always. Nice. Okay, I think you guys ready for the second part? I, Because I think you are. So here we go. So the second part is, I will continue with you until the end of the world. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to break it up. So we're going to go, I will continue, clap, 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 with you until the end of the world. Clap, clap, clap. So let's try the, I will continue. I will continue. Nice. And then you're going to go, with you until the end of the world. Let's try that one two three four with you until the end of the world nice should we try those two together then 
All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. I will continue with you until the end of the world. <laughs> Whoops, messed up the clapping there, but I'm sure you guys smashed that brilliantly. Okay, so before we put this, um, let's try and put those two sentences together and then we'll do the last bit. So here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. You can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. Yes, I added that last bit in. So at the end of it, we're just going to go Matthew 28, 20 because this is where, this is where the memory verse is found. On the Matthew 28, 20, try and be as loud as you can. I'm in the garden right now with surrounded by neighbours, so I probably won't shout, but just try and give it all the energy you have. So, we're gonna go, Matthew 28, 20, really loudly. I think you guys got this. Let's, let's uh, do it all together now. So, get, get you shaking on, a bit like, like cheerleaders or something, with the clap in, here we go, do a big jump. So, one, two, one, two, three, four, you can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. Matthew 28, 20. Nice, I think that was really good. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the, at the end, we'll do that twice. I forgot to say. Oh dear, see, it's because I don't have my, have Caitlin to help me. But um, let's do that one last time and then I think you guys have got it. Let's try that again. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. You can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue to be with you until the end of the world. Matthew 28, 20. Matthew 28, 20. Nice. All right. That was some great work, kids. I hope to see you soon and have fun all the way up in Newbury. Bye! So with that really good memory verse and that story, Katia, are you feeling a little less sad than you were at the beginning? Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. What have you learned about God and his love? He's always there to help me and he loves me so much and will help me whenever I just need to ask him. Definitely. So, shall we pray? Yes. We're going to pray for you as well as praying about what we've been learning about God's love today. So, I hope you're sitting comfortably. And um, if you're praying with your eyes closed and hands together so you can concentrate, then do that. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that we can meet together, even though it's virtually. I thank you that we have this time to be a community together and to see each other a bit. Lord, I thank you that the children are back at school and they can have fun playing with their friends and learning lots at school, Lord. I pray that they have lots of fun and enjoy being back. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Lord, for what your word teaches us about how much you care for us, how much you love us, and how much you want to help us when we feel sad. In Jesus' name, Amen. I think that's it for this yeah. week, isn't it? So hopefully we'll see you all next week. Don't forget that you can talk to Jesus at any time, whether you're feeling happy, sad, whatever. Jesus loves it when we talk to him. But yeah, we'll see you next week then. Bye! Bye. Why you ever chose me has always been a mystery. All my life I've been told I belong At the end of the line With all the other not quites With all the never get it right But it turns out that the ones you were looking for all this time Cause I'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody All about somebody 
who saved my soul. And ever since you rescued me, let me a song to sing. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Moses had stage fright. And David brought a rock to a sword fight. You picked 12 outsiders nobody would have chosen and you changed the world. Well, the moral of the story is everybody's got a purpose. So when I hear that devil start talking to me, saying, who do you think you are? I'm just a nobody, trying to tell everybody all about somebody who saved my soul. Ever since you rescued me, you gave my heart a song to sing. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. So let me go down, 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 down in history. As another blood of faithful member of the family. And if they all forget my name, well, that's fine with me. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. So let me go down, 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 down in history. As another blood-bought faithful member of the family. And if they all forget my name, well, it's fine with me. Living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm lost to nobody, trying to tell everybody all about somebody who saved my soul. Ever since you rescued me, you get my heart a song to sing. I'm in the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus.